When Sarah was born, she was just like any other baby girl. She smiled and cried and cooed, all nestled in a pile of pink blankets. Her story was unwritten, full of possibilities and hope for the future. But then the pages of her life started to take an all too familiar turn. At three years old, a neighbor found her wandering the streets of her neighborhood, alone and cold, wearing nothing but her diaper. Sarah was sad and scared. Dirty, dark brown curls covered in lice, no shoes, no clothes, skin all scratched and broken, carrying a small, dirty stuffed tiger that she held so tight her tiny fingers turned white. The neighbor cleaned her up and took her back home. As she grew up, Sarah was often left alone. Her mother battled her own demons, and her father wasn't around. There was never enough food in the house. Sometimes Sarah went to school, and sometimes she didn't. When she was 13, she was molested in her home by a man her mother called a friend. Sarah didn't tell anyone. She was ashamed. She didn't understand what had happened to her. Eventually, she became angry. Very, very angry. She got in trouble at school. She failed her classes. Nobody seemed to understand her. Eventually, she dropped out of high school. All she wanted was for someone to understand her, to love her. She met a boy she thought would love her who would take care of her and protect her. But he didn't do any of those things. He made a lot of promises that he never kept. When he got angry, he yelled at her and called her names. Sometimes, he hit her. Deep inside, she knew it was wrong to stay with him, but she didn't know what else to do. She still lived in her mother's home, but she rarely talked with her. She certainly couldn't depend on her. Sarah was 19 when she had her own little girl and named her Lily. Sarah was still a child herself, her story far from over. But now Lily's story is just beginning. Imagine if things had been different for Sarah. How would her story have changed if she had come to Pendleton Place?
When Sarah was born, she was just like any other baby girl, her future full of unseen promises and possibilities. Circumstances beyond her control changed her story. Let's imagine a new story for little Sarah, one that involves a trip to Pendleton Place. Sarah's neighbor found her wandering the streets alone at just three years old. The neighbor called police who placed Sarah in foster care. She went with her mother to Pendleton Place to the Family and Child Assessment Center. The staff took care of her, made her feel safe. They talked to her about what was happening at home. She told them as much as she could with her limited verbal skills. Pendleton Place talked with her mother and provided assessments to figure out what was really happening. Why was she neglecting her little girl? Finally, someone figured it out. Sarah's mother was suffering from depression and anxiety. She had been abused when she was just a little girl and drank alcohol to cope with her pain. She loved Sarah. She wanted to be a good mom, but she didn't know how. With this knowledge, Sarah's mom got counseling services and treatment. While she was healing, Sarah lived in a foster home with people who cared for her and kept her safe. She was able to visit her mom at Pendleton Place's Family Bridges program. They played games and read books and figured out how to be a family. When it was safe and her mother was able to care for her, Sarah went home. Luckily, she never had to come back to Pendleton Place. She lived in a safe home that supported and nurtured her. She was never molested. She went to school, worked hard, and graduated on time. She grew into adulthood with dreams of success in her future. One day, she eventually had her own little girl, baby Lily, but not as an angry, hurt teenager. She had Lily when she was truly ready to be a mother. The cycle of abuse and neglect in her family, a thing of the past.